Hi, I'm Pierce Jens with Baratza Support. Today I'm here with our current grinder lineup and I'm going to talk about how to pick the grinder that's best for you. Before you can pick the grinder that's best for you, you need to decide what you're going to be using it for. If you're doing manual brew methods such as Chemex, Glita, V60, etc., you're not going to need a micro adjustment feature. However, if you're making espresso, the micro adjustment is invaluable, especially if you're trying to perfect your shots. Along with deciding the brew methods you're going to employ, you also need to decide how dedicated you are going to be to the coffee experience. If you're looking to meet exact parameters or duplicate a cup of coffee from your local cafe, you're going to need more control than some of our entry level grinders may have. Regardless of the grinder that you pick, I'm sure you'll brew exceptional coffee with ease, whether it be in your home or at your cafe. In our current lineup, we have two families of grinders. We have grinders that have conical burrs, and we have grinders that have flat burrs. Neither burr is necessarily better, but they are definitely different. I can only speak to the differences within the Barazza lineup itself. Our conical burr grinders are more versatile in that they do a good job grinding across the entire range. The flat burr grinders grind across the entire range as well, but were designed with a specific use in mind. We'll talk about that more as we focus on each individual grinder. Our conical grinders are the Encore, Virtuoso, and the Preciso. All of these models will grind in a French press coarse grind and will dial down to an espresso fine grind. 40 millimeter burrs from Liechtenstein are used in each of these units. The burrs are powered by a DC motor that spins the burrs around 450 RPMs thanks to the direct drive reduction gear known as the GB 2.0 gearbox. The units each have a pulse button on the front and a bin made of inherently dissipative property plastic. Those are some big words that means that it's a plastic that has some anti-static properties to it. These grinders have minimal retention and the grind adjusts like a screw. When you turn the hopper, you're pulling one burr down closer to the other for a finer grind. The Encore is our entry level burr grinder at $129. It has 40 distinct settings to help you adjust from a French press coarse grind down to an espresso fine grind. Besides the intermittent button on the front, it also has a dial on the side to either turn the grinder on or off. At about a gram a second, the Encore is an excellent grinder to get you into espresso brewing or to use for your manual brew methods. The next step up is going to be the Virtuoso at $229 USD. Besides the obvious cosmetic differences, the main thing that sets the Virtuoso apart from the Encore is the burr set. The burr set of the Virtuoso grinds twice as fast at an average speed of 2 grams a second. It can grind a little bit finer and it also produces a more consistent coarse grind. The Virtuoso is going to be an excellent grinder for anyone specializing in their manual brew methods. It will give you the best bang for your buck if you're not making espresso. Besides the cosmetic difference in the burrs, the Virtuoso also has a wind up timer switch on the side. This is useful because you can put your coffee in the grinder, wind the timer up, let the grinder do its thing, and prepare the rest of your brewing equipment. I highly recommend the Virtuoso. Moving up from the Virtuoso, we now focus on the Preciso. You will see the Preciso looks almost identical to the Virtuoso, and it is. The main thing that sets the Preciso apart is the adjustment features that it has. The Preciso has a micro adjustment feature. Essentially, this lets you split between the macro settings, the hopper settings that the grinder has. This is only useful when you're making espresso. As it's meant to be an espresso grinder, it also comes with a portafilter holder. This can be used in place of the bin to allow you to grind directly into your portafilter. At $299, the Preciso is an excellent grinder to get you into serious espresso brewing. Next, we're going to move on to our flat burr grinder family that consists of the Vario, Vario W, Forte All Purpose, and the Forte Brew Grinder. These units are equipped with 54 millimeter flat burrs powered by a belt drive transmission and DC motor. The digital displays have three programmable presets and the clearly labeled lever arms are easy to adjust. The flat burr grinders adjust the grind size via a lobed metal camshaft and the bins are made of anti-static plastic. Let's take a little bit closer of a look at each model, starting with the Vario. The Vario, at $479, is equipped with grind-by-time software programmable to tenth of a second increments. The grind size is adjusted with 10 macro settings, 
in 23 micro settings, giving the user 230 steps of adjustment. The Vario is equipped from our factory with ceramic burrs that grind across the entire range, but do an especially good job grinding at espresso fine levels. To further facilitate espresso grinding, the Vario comes equipped with a metal portal holder. The metal portal holder has a built-in dosing funnel and adjustable forks that make it adaptable to almost every espresso machine on the market. Along with the metal portal holder, the Vario comes equipped with a plastic grounds bin for you to grind directly into and then transfer into your brewing vessel. I recommend the Vario for people who are serious about their espresso and want to match it with a prosumer espresso machine. It also is an excellent light commercial grinder. We recommend the Vario for up to a pound of grinding a day. The Vario W is the next step up at $559. You can see it is very similar to the Vario, but there are several key differences. The first and foremost being that the Vario W grinds by weight. It's programmable to a tenth of a gram increments, and it has a built-in scale that the groundsman sits on top of. To use the Vario W, you put in your desired weight, such as 18 grams, start the grind, and the grinder will turn itself off when the desired weight has been reached in the bin. The grind by weight feature is incredibly useful when you're trying to have repeatable results in your coffee brewing or your espresso extractions. The Vario W comes equipped with a shutoff hopper. The shutoff hopper has a valve in the bottom that allows you to close it and remove the hopper when full of beans without making a mess. The Vario W does not come with a metal port holder, and that is because the metal port holder is not compatible with the Vario W. It can only grind by weight directly into the bin that it comes with. From our factory, the Vario W is equipped with the ceramic burrs. We do have an alternate set of burrs available that were designed to do the best possible job at coarse grinding. I recommend the Vario W again for people who are serious about their home espresso, or it is an excellent grinder to have on your brew bar so you can showcase multiple coffees and have each grinder individually dialed in. Finally, we turn our attention to our top of the line grinders, the Forte series. The Forte All Purpose at $8.99 and the Forte Brew Grinder at $9.19. The Forte series was designed with the same theory of operation as our Vario series, but with commercial use in mind. Due to this fact, the Forte is equipped with a more rugged transmission, metal grind adjustment components, and a higher duty cycle. Focusing on the Forte AP, you can see it comes equipped with the same metal portal holder that the Vario does. This is because the Forte AP is equipped with ceramic burrs. Again, the ceramic burrs do an excellent job grinding espresso fine without sacrificing the ability to grind for French press. The Forte AP has a grind speed of about two and a half to three and a half grams a second. It is equipped with the same shutoff hopper as the Vario W. And unlike the Vario series that is exclusive to grinding by weight or grinding by time, the Forte series has both in each unit. You simply select grinding by time or grinding by weight and then proceed to use your grinder. Shifting our attention over to the Forte BG, it's called the Brew Grinder because it becomes equipped with Didding Steel Burrs that were designed to produce an excellent consistency coarse grind without sacrificing the ability to grind espresso fine. Due to the fact the BG was designed with manual brews in mind, it does not come equipped with the metal portal holder, although it is an accessory that will fit. Again, it has the shutoff hopper, the metal adjustment arms, and the same touchscreen display with grind by weight and grind by time options. The grind speed of the Forte BG is 1.2 to 2.4 grams a second. We recommend the Forte AP for small cafes as your decaf espresso grinder or single origin espresso grinder. The Forte BG excels as a brew bar grinder in farmers markets or pop-up cafes. The Forte BG is a great way to showcase a number of coffees on your bar with having a grinder for each coffee dialed into perfection. I hope you found the information in this video useful and that it answered all of your questions. If you have further questions, check out our website, baratza.com where we have a lot of resources from reviews, links to online vendors, to comparison charts. Of course, if you have a question that you just can't seem to find an answer to online, always feel free to reach out to us at support at
Thank you for watching.